שלום רב לקהל הצופים והצופות של פסטיבל הקולנוע הרומני בישראל, מהדורת 2023. כאן איריס לקנר, האוצרת והמנהלת של הפסטיבל, ואני שמחה לארח כאן את חברתי היקרה, מאיה מורגנשטרן, שחקנית רומניה <coughs> יהודייה עם קריירה בינלאומית מרשימה, זוכת פרסים רבים, והיא מככבת ב- בסרט האימה שהבאנו הפעם, האזו שלושת הגדיים, שהוא בעצם מבוסס על סיפור עם רומני, ואנחנו עכשיו נקיים איתה שיחה, אני אקיים איתה שיחה בשפה האנגלית. דרגה מאיה בונזיואה. הלו, בונזיואה. שלום. שלום. I'm so happy to have you here, and I'm very glad that uh, we managed to bring the movie you star in, Capra uh, Kutreyez, The Goat and Her Three Kids. This is how it's called in English. Uh, and it's actually based on a Romanian uh, story meant for children. Very true, yeah. Oh, and so, yes. Uh, can before we talk about the movie can you tell us about your own personal memories on this story when you first heard it uh, what's your um, impression on the story itself well it's very interesting because uh, <laughs> uh, the two answers are connected actually uh, why I'm saying because when we start to work with Victor Kanaki for the movie, with Viktor Razvan Kanake for the movie. Actually, we used, I would say, the book, because it was, it is, I don't know if it exists anymore, but it is, it was a book, a very special book with special, special drawings, designs, with special characters, and I recall them in my mind, the figures. It was a sort of cartoon, Toon style, but not cartoon, very special. I wouldn't say it's a Romanian story, but it is, it is a, a, a fairy tale for, for children in, in that space. It's a large, huge space, Carpathian, I don't know, Balkans. It's a huge space. It's a one. one. There are regions you can find with seven, uh, the goat with seven children. Depends. It is about... The idea is, was that uh, I was very impressed as a child because it, it, it's fresh in my mind, the view, the image of the book and the text, uh, the written text was not very big in order as a child to read it, to get acquainted with the, the, read, the idea of reading and also having drawings. There were... Of course, animals, goats, and the kids. What is a child of the goat yet in English? I don't know, know them. Oh, we well, we understand. Yeah. You'll tell me in a while. But they were they were very humans, dressed in a traditional folk costumes, robes and uh, skirts. The well. Very, very traditional Romanian folk costumes. And the children were uh, were little goats, but not anymore, but children. And I was, as a child, I do, and thank you very much for your question, because I was not confused, because as a child, I was very sure about everything. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing, uh, but I do remember each and every time I was waiting till the last of pages of the book that the end will change. Yes. So, of course, the wolf is punished and the bad one is punished. But still, the two other brothers, because only they, the youngest was saved, saved himself. Of course, the mother takes revenge. Mm, punishment, I would say punishment, punishment. Then we'll discuss about the condition of a woman, a widower, a widow, a widow alone with three children uh, in a world. She cannot find justice. She had to do that by What herself. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. We won't make any spoilers, but so, you have to justice, say... Justice, not revenge. Justice and not revenge. But I was waiting as a child that, that maybe, maybe, naive, of course, and hoping that uh, the good, the good of the world will be restored, uh, the justice, and as in, um, I don't know about you, what do you... What is your version about Skufitsa uh, Roshie, the red, the red hood, the red, no but about. yes, uh, in the end, the grandmother was saved from the wolf's uh, stomach, and uh, well, mm -hmm. yes, so I was waiting somehow that we have back uh, the, the older brothers, eh, not in the Capra Cutreyes. Um, you were hoping for a good ending, and eventually it didn't happen. Every time, every yeah. it is a yeah. little bit naive. Yes, but, but it, that's it, it. It makes sense for a child yeah. to want something to end well. But, uh, yes, but uh, well, I think uh, I was all right because it is uh, even today, or almost mostly today, uh, discussion isn't to isn't it too cruel, too violent, too tough. As a child, I was absolutely all right with the feeling of of um, of justice. The justice. It's has interesting what you it. say. I, I mm -hmm. I'm saying that it's interesting what you just said because we are used as children. I hope it was <laughs> otherwise our interview is for nothing. I hope it is interesting. Uh, as children, we are used to to read or to hear different stories which uh, have some frightening elements in them. And once, uh, when I was in university and learned philosophy, the 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 teacher told us actually he destroyed all the fairy tales that we grew up on. Uh, while understanding what it has beneath. So maybe sometimes we have to stay a new world. naive a child. New, no. <laughs> no. For, okay, now how did you accept the offer to play in this movie when the Kanake oh. addressed you? Oh, it is a very long, funny, I would say, uh, story because I was very skeptical. What? Capra Kutre, what is a cartoon? I have to play the to a cartoon, a goat. Uh, and, but step by step, and quite uh, ooh, uh, quite late, uh, I understood how serious he was, how determined he was, how well prepared he was, how much he was uh, in the story of. With the book and in the film, we have even uh, strong connections and references to the book, to the drawing, to this passage of the childhood. And it is a statement of the author, Razvan Kanake, that the film is dedicated, maybe, without maybe, uh, to the first impression impressions he had reading, living, growing up with a story, with a fairy tale, with a book, with a voice of a grandmother of a, or a mother or a, a parent or somebody older who used to read for us the book, the, this small book. Afterwards, uh, I don't remember, um, I told my... Uh, my children, uh, the same fairy tale. And I don't remember their questions. Well, <laughs> let, me, let me be honest. When I was very tired, because normally uh, I love to, I love, I still love to invent stories, tales, fairy tales, to combine elements. I know, I learned to having the impression that I'm inventing something very new. Maybe I do. Maybe not. I'm just combining. But when I was very tired, a lack of imagination, Kaprat Kutreyes children, now we know it by heart. And they started <laughs> to correct me. Uh, but coming back to your question, yes, uh, I was skeptical. I was skeptical. And first we we did, we shot a uh, short, 
film. And I said, yes, that's it. And uh, when uh, Rezban Viktor Kanake told me, we are going to build, to construct, to have a long metrage, ah, I was once more skeptical, like it wasn't enough to be skeptical enough for, for the short film, once more. So I have to underline, and I'm doing this proudly, that I worked for this film absolutely volunteering uh, because I understood, I was aware how much they struggled. Razvan, Viktor Kanake, his wife, the producer, Luana Georgica, uh, all, it was a small crew but very professional, a real artist. And we worked very, very, very hard, very hard. Once From someone the... will see the movie, they will understand exactly what you're saying because it's done beautifully and so professionally. And it seems like you took uh, an American production to Romania and this is the outcome. And it's, uh, it's wonderful uh, understanding what happens uh, behind the scenes that uh, they struggle so much, but uh, the outcome is absolutely outstanding. And uh, what I remember is that the first time I saw the movie, it was at TIFF and the reaction of the audience was just amazing because I would say, I asked myself, who will be the audience? Uh, young people, older people who remember, of course, and connect, uh, relate to the fairy tale. And they were all ages. Uh, the the hall was uh, full and uh, there were a few projections uh, at the festival and it uh, also received uh, the audience uh, prize. Uh, it was the most loved movie. Um, and how do you explain th this reaction of the audience? I know it took you by surprise as well. Absolutely. I was so much surprised. I was there, I was invited, and I was very, very pampered because uh, I knew and uh, I was supposed and I received uh, the word for the, the whole, my whole artistic life. And uh, I was happy and pampered and interviews and meetings and very proud and very happy again, uh, revisiting my career, my work uh, for... 40, uh, more than 40 years in, in movies, in theater. Well, but the moment uh, they announced, mm, they announced uh, a, word, a public award, I was completely surprised and happy and I screamed of joy. <laughs> uh, how was working with uh, Mr. Kanake? Very difficult. I was very difficult. You I was difficult. a, a okay. mess. I was uh, a <laughs> to Well, uh, yes, honestly. Well, uh, I'm I'm trying to be honest. It was very. The conditions were very very difficult. You, we are imagine uh, a film. Our projection is uh, well. We have a trailer and we have that and we have that and this is makeup and this is costumes. No, <laughs> it was very difficult. It was late autumn and uh, full of mud and rain. the colors were beautiful. The woods changed the color, uh, its color every half hour. Amazing. Red, yes, uh, trees, the leaves and the atmosphere. It was sunny and rainy and cold and warm. It was amazing because they built Razvan himself, Kanake, Mr. Kanake and his wife, and they built, they built the set, a house, a house designated to make a movie. Uh, they built a house, they, with their hands, from remains of houses, or I don't know. They built a house, a set, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of no, in a wonderful landscape. An, a wonderful landscape. That's true. But it was, we had to carry with our, I mean, no arms and backs and I don't know, the materials and the machines. The cars couldn't get there because it was impossible. It In was. What area the, was it filmed? Maluku uh, Flor, Târgoviște, Muntenia, a wonderful, a wonderful. In Muntenia. 
Not okay, far from Curtea de Arde, Muntenia, Curtea de Argeș, a landscape to, to take the breath away. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and how was it? Very demanding. He was very demanding. When you have to climb up and down, up and down the hill, um, uh, once a little mountain again and again, because the word is yaka or yata. Well, it's all the same. No, it's not. Go back. <laughs> Yes. And so was. when we see you tired during the movie, never, you were never, really tired. Never. You didn't have to play it. <laughs> well, yes, but uh, it makes sense and I understood. But it was difficult. It was yeah. very difficult. That's the truth. And how was uh, to work I with Mario? How much they work, how much they struggle to, to have to produce the film. And how was the work with uh, Mario Spadocchi? wonderful we are colleagues and friends and i do respect his work i called i used to call him anti-depre anti-depressive <laughs> because whenever he arrives no more fights no more uh, i don't know no oh, no we were happy with him because a good and a good vibe a okay. wonderful actor intelligent charming and uh, a wonderful person now, there are three children playing the kids in this yes. story. How was for them to to play in a horror movie? It, it, is, oh. it is a horrible story after all. It doesn't matter how we look at it. At the end of the day, it's quite frightening. So how was uh, for them? For to... them not. They had fun. <laughs> they enjoyed okay. very much to okay. play. Work, to play, to play, to play in a movie. And though I'm using the word play, properly yes they used to play they were very happy uh to be there uh, to to play with us to play a character they played between them but they enjoyed very much me Amazing. The film. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, but they are children from the countryside from the village they are very used to work and to work hard they uh, went to school never escape skip the school never never Never, never, never. Then we took care of the animals, their own animals. Then they had to run uh, home to do some works in the well, in their small little farms. The word is too big, yes. but it is a lot of work to do. Yes, of in the village it is. And children no. were well, teenagers, uh, pre-teenagers, but they used to work very hard. For uh, me, it was difficult to climb up and down the, the little mound. For them, it was nothing. Yeah, they're used to it. And it's impressive, uh, I must say. Now, uh, given your next projects, there are, your hand is full with uh, many movies that will uh, come out. And there's also um, um, a movie that will be uh, continuous to the Passion of uh, Christ, Resurrection. Is it uh, I don't know. Uh, we will speak whenever it is ready and we, okay. will, we will later. Later. Okay. Later. Would you care to tell us uh, some of the next projects you can talk about that are already filmed and post production? Well, we'll see. We will speak about them whenever they come out. Okay. Uh, is there something additional you would like the audience to know oh, about well, the movie? Yes. Well, yes, about the movie Capra Cutreis is the fact then that uh, when the film uh, came out, um, it was very good that we traveled with Caravana to present the movie in different towns or vill even villages in Romania. And uh, there were meetings with the public which were wonderful and wonderful question it was good to share with them to tell them to uh to speak about how we worked how we fight how we find uh, solutions uh it was fun very fun it, it was uh, very good that we had those sort of meetings here and there well and it was a sort of because from time to time uh we you do a movie uh you attend the opening, and uh, but uh, it's a question of uh, tourneo, town after town, day after day. So it, it turns to be quite complicated. But I, I combined two things. Uh, 
because that time, uh, autumn time, even beginning of, of winter, I'm touring a lot with the theater, Jewish state theater or independent productions in different towns, little towns, big towns, cities. And I combined. I had a performance, and in the end of performance, I ran quickly to the, I don't know, the uh, cinema hall, and I had, uh, after the projection, uh, a Q &A, talk. Yeah. A talk yeah, with the audience. With the public. Wonderful. So, very vivid. It's so you. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, this is the way you are used and you enjoy what you're doing and it shows It shows on stage and it shows on the screen. And we are grateful for that, Maya. And oh, yeah. we are looking forward uh, to see you here uh, very yeah. soon. And uh, we urge the audience to come and see this wonderful special yeah. movie. I will address them a bit in Hebrew with your permission. באמת זה בז'אנר של סרט אימה, אבל זו אגדת עם רומנית, ובאמת יש שם סרט שהוא עשוי נהדר, הוא יפהפה, כל מה שמאיה סיפרה לנו על הנופים הם באמת כאלה. רומניה, אפשר להגיד עליה הרבה דברים, אבל על דבר אחד אי אפשר להתווכח, זו ארץ יפהפייה, ואת היופי הזה רואים בסרט במלוא הדרו. אז אני ממליצה לכם ללכת לראות בשם מכון התרבות הרומני, ששותף כמובן לארגון הפסטיבל שלנו, ובשמי כאוצרת ומנהלת הפסטיבל. אני מאחלת לכם צפייה מהנה, ומזמינה אתכם להיכנס לדף הפייסבוק של פסטיבל הקולנוע הרומני בישראל, מהדורת 2023, להתעדכן בכל הפרטים והמקומות בהם מציג הסרט. תודה רבה, thank you very much, it's מול סומז ברגמה. ביי ביי. ביי, thank you, להתראות.